Recording your computer screen is not difficult. I'll show you how to do it. Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Unicorn Brew and thanks for tuning in. In this video, we're gonna look at options to record a computer's screen, one of them being the Wondershare Unicorn Brew as number two on the list. There are many reasons you might need to record your laptops or computer's screen. The tools I'll show you will give you a solution for any purposes you might need a screen recorder for. All of these tools record your screen with sound, so if you only need a screen recorder with sound, you can choose any of them. But if you need more than that, watch the entire video. <laughs> In fact, watch the entire video anyway. The very first one on the list is a fast way to record a screen of a MacBook or Mac computer. QuickTime Player is a built-in macOS application that can, among others, record screen with sound. To access it, either open the QuickTime Player application and launch the screen recorder from the Files menu. Or press Command, Shift and 5 on your keyboard to bring up the screen capture menu. From here, you can choose to record the entire screen or just a selected area. From the option menu, you can select to show mouse click while recording, choose a desired location and select your audio recording device as well. Press record to start recording. It will record as long as you don't stop it, and then it will save your screen recording as an MOV file to your chosen location. If you don't fancy an MOV file and you want to convert it to MP4, watch this video here. So if you're a Mac user, QuickTime Player is an excellent choice as it's free and you can easily use it to record gaming videos or B-roll footage for how to and tutorial videos and of course for many many more. Now, the screen recorder within the Uniconverter is a little bit more complex, therefore it can be used to create entire presentation videos, tutorial videos, and here is how. If you don't have the Uniconverter, download it using the link below. After opening the Uniconverter, launch the screen recorder right from the home page. The screen recorder menu will come up from where you can select the area you want to record. You can choose whether or not you want to record system audio, you can choose your external audio recording device. And here is when it starts becoming really interesting. You can turn on your computers or an external webcam to record yourself while recording your computer screen. This will allow you to create complete presentation or tutorial videos without having to record yourself separately and then syncing the footage together and do all that hassle. Furthermore, if you open down the settings menu, you have even more settings to choose from. That includes the location the video will be saved to, frame rate, quality and output format settings, and should you ever need to record your screen when you're not around, you can set a timer as well. Enabling to show mouse click is also an option in this screen recorder too. Now, it gets even more exciting once you start recording. From the recording menu up here, you can take screenshots, or open up the drawing board where you'll get even more tools to make your presentation or tutorial video visually better. The screen recorder within the Uniconverter is a truly professional one and I highly recommend it. And it's also available for Windows computers. Additionally, you can find online screen recorders as well in case you don't want to install softwares on your computer. Most of them require you to have a subscription or else you'll have a watermark on your recording. The Uniconverter's screen recorder is free and it won't leave a watermark on your video, by the way. Two of the online tools that I found good is recordcast.com or onlinescreenrecorder.com. Both of them are free without a watermark, although Recordcast has a 5 minute recording limit in the free version. Ultimately, in my opinion, it's best to go with a desktop screen recorder that you know that you can trust. If you want to try the Uniconverter, there are links in the description. But that's all for this video, subscribe to the channel and leave a like for more content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.